I don't care what anyone says, this is virtual reality at its finest. Alright, what's going on YouTubers? Hoffman here from Top Tech Tips and today in the mail, I got this. This is Google Cardboard, a cardboard virtual reality headset at such a great consumer level price that you can't go wrong. So in this video, we're going to be setting it up, taking a quick look and giving it kind of a mini review for you guys to get some more information about this awesome looking product. So let's not waste any time and just get on with this video. Now you can get Google Cardboard for under £20 but it will depend on if you want one already built, if you want one with NFC, with a magnet, it all comes under these factors. So if you check out the description I'll have various different links on where to pick up Google Cardboard. So with that said I picked up Google Cardboard for £15 and it's the version without NFC and I'm going to have to build it myself. So turning it around and taking off the back, opening it up you see all the different components. Now there are instructions and there are numbers. This may get a little complicated but let's see how it goes. Right now at the time of building this, the time is 6 o'clock p.m. So let's see how long it takes me. Well here is the complete product, it took me about 15 minutes to build but with that said I did get a, get a bit confused so 15 minutes is a bit long, it should really take you roughly about 5-10 to 10 minutes but what I did is that I checked the Google Cardboard official website to see the actual animation of them building it which helped me even more than the instructions that came with this product. So if you do want to check that out as well, link in the description. So first impression wise, Google Cardboard looks very interesting. It kind of reminds me of the Chiro manga character, but that's just me. So let's not waste any time and just in fact test out this product and see what it's all about. Before carrying on, what you're going to want to do is go to your Play Store or App Store and download the official Cardboard app. Once that's downloaded, you're going to run it and then you're able to put your device inside Google Cardboard and then you're going to have the fully fledged experience. Yeah, right now I may look a bit silly using this product. But we'll see he's laughing when you see what happens next. So now I put the OnePlus One on it, but I'm not going to put down the Velcro because then the power button gets hit. So let's take a look at this. Oh my god. That's for, oh shame. You can move your head and then you can select the option with the magnetic thing. Wait, let me see if I can try to get this on camera. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick option and then I'll show you guys on the camera later by just having the phone. Uh, so, oh, YouTube, Photosphere, Street View. Oh my god, that actually worked. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm speeding through. Oh my god, this is very realistic. I can move my head. Oh, so where the camera is. Oh, this is sick. This is cool. Where the camera is right now, I see. Where am I? Kensington? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kensington, Kensington. Like down the road through. Oh my god, wait. How do I change? Oh my god, I can stop. Oh, look at the clouds. Whoa. Whoa. I can look down. Now, to you, it will look like two screens. But to me, when I put it on the Google Glass, it looks nothing as such. Oh, so you can, so you can just speed on by. And then you can stop it and you can look about. No, let, let me just show you the quick other options there are on this. So here you have, uh, let's try select, oh, YouTube, not Earth. But look, this is Google Earth. Ah, you can see buildings. Now, I have to tell you the truth, this device is awesome. I would give it 10 out of 10. Now, of course, there are still different apps and games in development that still need to rely on this, but so far, what's included inside the cardboard app, you just got to love. Now, you can either obviously opt out by building this yourself, getting a ready-made version, or getting the one that I assembled at the start of this video. But otherwise, both ways, you can't go wrong. Now, you can get an NFC version, which I never got, where you place the device on it and the cardboard app starts off straight away, or you can get one with or without the magnet, depending on which one you go for, but of course the magnet one is a must. But as I said before, this device 
is amazing. This takes virtual, virtual reality one step further because the fact that it's made out of cardboard, it's recyclable, it's good for the environment. You could make it on such a tight budget and you can't go wrong. You're gonna have a virtual reality headset in your house using your smartphone at such a cheap, amazing price. Now, if you're expecting virtual reality to go one step forward, you are anticipating it, but you don't have the money to buy Oculus Rift developer kit, or maybe when it does come out officially, this is something that you might want to invest in, especially if you are interested in virtual reality, because this product is just amazing. I love it. You could wear it as a normal device. You could watch films on it. I don't know if you've seen the meme where the person builds a little cinema through a cardboard box and he puts his phone on it. This is exactly like it and it's just amazing i don't see this device lasting for a long amount of time such as a year because it's made of cardboard it's gonna get scrunched up it's gonna get beat up it's gonna fall and it's just not gonna work out is it so you're gonna probably have to end up getting a lot of different models if you are really interested this is probably the only downside i can see to this device but apart from that it's amazing it fits perfectly on the face if you do wear glasses it will work and optionally you can get attachments such as a strap and you can just strap it onto your face and you could go handless with this product and you can't go wrong. Now of course this product is meant to support devices of um, 4.5 inch screens up to 5.3 inch screens I believe. Don't quote me on that but that is what I've been told. But my OnePlus One is a 5.5 inch screen and it's struggling with that. But especially for the fact that the power button is on the side. So if you're going to use something like the LG G3, it is a big display but you have more luck since the power device, the power button is on the back of the phone. But apart from that, this will work with LG G3 of course and various other smartphones. Sorry, I just keep putting it on my head. But of course, this device is wonderful. And as a quick side note, if you are going to build one yourself, make sure you somehow get a hold of these monocules, of these glass monocules by bio pieces, glass pieces, whatever you want to call it, because then that's where the vision comes through. And if you guys watching my review and setup of the Google Cardboard, this device is awesome, as I mentioned in the whole review. But yeah, if you do want to pick up, go check out the link in the description. And yeah, through that, check out my social links as well, also in the description. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. And trust me, this device is just epic. You gotta pick one up if you have the money. Even if you don't have the money, go steal some money and get this product. Because I think it's absolutely worth it.